Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Kelly Dobeck with Cleveland 19 News. Today I'm going to teach you how to make and the science behind some Alka-Seltzer rockets. Here's everything you need to make your Alka-Seltzer rocket. It can get a little messy, so you may want to try this outside. However, if it does get messy, it's just water that you're handling. So this is what you'll need. Water, Alka-Seltzer tablets, and a small container. A film canister works best, but these may be hard to find. Ask your parents if they have any stored away, or check your local dollar store. Essentially, you just want a small container that will fit the Alka-Seltzer tablet in it, and you want to make sure the lid is secure but does not have a child lock on it. A prescription bottle without a child lock would also work. So first you're going to place one of those Alka-Seltzer tablets inside the container. Before you put the water in, use the scientific method to think about what's going to happen and ask yourself a few questions. What will happen when I add the water inside the container with the Alka-Seltzer tablet? Will it be a physical reaction or a chemical reaction? This next part of the experiment is pretty fast paced, so it may take a few tries. Once the tablet is inside your container, quickly add some water, put the lid on the container, and flip it over. Again, this needs to be done fast, so it may take some practice. Once you get it done, you flip that container over, watch what happens. Here's another chance to use that scientific method and explore how to make your rocket go higher into the air. How much water are you putting into the container? Try a few different amounts and analyze your results. Does the rocket fly higher when there's more water or less water in the container? So let's talk about some of the science behind our rockets. When you add the water to the container with the Alka-Seltzer tablet, little bubbles of carbon dioxide gas form. When you put the lid on the container while this reaction is happening, you're building pressure inside of your rocket as more bubbles are created and more gas is given off. Eventually, you build up a big enough force that the lid lifts off the canister and you have a launch. Now let's talk about liquids versus gases. Gases take up much more space or volume compared to liquids. So when you add smaller amounts of water into your container, those carbon dioxide bubbles take up more volume, allowing for a bigger force when that lid flies off. Pretty cool, right? Hopefully you got your rockets to launch off and take off and you had some fun learning some science. 